Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and healthy during this time. Uh, this video is going to be about what information should you hold back from a narcissistic group. Uh, so this question was asked by Carolyn John on uh, one of the videos that I had posted um, of how, how you can be around you know, your family during the holidays. Um, so she, she has written this, uh, can you post a video on private information to not to give to a narc ensemble? I run my mouth and always regret it and don't know exactly what to hold back. Um, so this is a very common issue actually, when you are in a narcissistic group uh, setting. Uh, that's because the narcissistic people will actually make you feel like they want to know about your life and they will ask you questions and they will uh, seem interested in your in your personal life or in things that you're passionate about, you know, like just get to know you better. Um, and the the intention they have behind this is to actually not to understand, it is to understand you, but to understand you so that they can manipulate you or so that they can uh, press the right buttons or kind of trouble you in different ways. So it's not to understand you so that, oh, it's uh, so that I can be better towards him or her or so that I can help him or her. It's not that intention. So the intention is really to use all the private information that you have uh, that you give them against you if not now they will do it later on you know so they are kind of collecting all the information in their memory bank to use it against you and uh, it can be done in the long run also so um, what information should you keep hidden from narcissists so the simple answer is everything <laughs> but obviously that's not uh, going to be possible to hide everything from a narcissistic group, especially if they are family, you have to tell them certain things, right? You can't just always keep quiet in a family setting. Um, so, so let's first uh, list out what to hide, right? So what you have to hide is anything that is of any importance to you. So your personal life, your professional life, the projects you're working on, anything you're passionate about like even a topic like if you're if you're passionate about like um, a sports team or uh, climate change or uh, some politician whatever you know some agenda like some social work etc whatever you are passionate about fashion brands whatever whatever is like an emotional point for you you have to hide it from them uh, then you have to hide about goals, ambitions. Um, if there are, if if you are in a relationship and if you are with your partner in front of them, then do not talk about incidents that really were triggering to you and your partner because they are going to use that against you. Do not talk about the relationship that you have with your partner because they will kind of try to understand, oh, what are the weak points and try to set you up against each other, kind of create a competition between the husband and the wife or if your sisters or if your friends, whatever the relationship is, they are going to try to divide it and break you guys apart. Um, so basically what I'm trying to say is all of this you have to avoid. And maybe we can check what you can talk about uh, when you are in a narcissistic clan. So one thing is appear to be extremely boring, like a gray rock, you know, that's, that's the gray rock method. Be extremely boring, extremely lifeless, show that you have nothing going on in your life. Like your life is super boring. Uh, you just survive, you don't do anything fun. You, you are sad all the time, nothing to look forward to. So I'm not saying you have to be that way, but I'm saying project yourself to be that way in front of a narcissistic group. You can talk about the weather, you know, talk about the weather, talk about news, 
talk about some movie that you like talk about some happenings in the world talk about science facts uh one really good technique i know and i've seen someone do this over and over again is have one long boring story and every time you meet the narcissistic group somehow bring that story up and keep saying that story over and over again trust me like after five or six trips to the narcissistic family everyone will run away from you and that's what you want right you don't want the narcissistic people to trouble you so just like have this long boring story ready and be so boring that no one comes and talks to you um so in short these are all the techniques that you can use only small talk nothing deep um and one more thing is like this is a very good uh, exercise you know to understand that all the people who show interest in you are actually not interested in you so it's it's a good uh, it's a good exercise to to exercise your discretion you know your vivek vivek is a vritti of the heart chakra and it's it's like the quality that a deer has you know the heart chakra is represented by the deer the deer animal and deers have ears always like their ears are always upright and they are always like uh, on guard because a deer can't really protect itself so much and um so so the only protection it has is kind of being extremely aware of their surroundings and always like protecting themselves you know staying in places where they they can be safe um so so yeah deer is the representation uh, in the animal form of the heart chakra and vivek or discretion or discretion uh, or discrimination is a vritti or or like a property of the heart chakra so when you actually exercise or when you think about situations in a deep manner you develop your vivek you develop your discretion or you develop your discrimination and that tells you that helps you to understand that is this person really interested in me or do they just want to know about my life so that they can use it against me in the future or whenever whenever they have the need to so so you have to become a good judge of whether a person is really they really want to know your story in order to help you or in order to just understand you to see you to hear you or are they just like collecting like ammo for their own manipulations um so i say even if you have had bad experience in in this um it's kind of like um it's kind of like practice for your own vivek and then when you retrospect on oh i should have not said this i should have not said that and then oh i know they are going to use this against me and then they do so you you are kind of like preparing this um experience pool that you have and from that you can actually um better sharpen your intuition or your vivek that comes from your heart chakra so i hope this video was helpful to you and as always i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye